On Friday, November 6, 3C2A made an announcement giving schools the green light to return to competition in February, but it's ultimately up to schools to decide whether or not athletics will continue this spring. COC has not yet announced their decision, but they may allow athletes back on campus for team conditioning. Going into his 10th year of athletic counseling at COC, Albert Loiza has made a major impact guiding athletes in what the next step may be. I just know in talking to, to you guys as students, what not playing is doing to the majority of you guys. It's not even about not playing, even just not being on campus to be with teammates. And I've talked to student athletes and students about the same lack of connection in their classes and how it's killing them in their classes. So as a team, you know, we can at least get you on campus to condition. That's, I think, a huge win. With having a season comes weekly COVID testing. But with the school not making money, it may be a tough decision to decide whether or not it is safe to do so. Because on top of all this, we're also in a budget crisis, right? I mean, yeah. the schools are making money. The state's not making money. And, and I've heard from students, well, you know, you, you're saving money without having classes going on and power. And, and I'm sure there are areas where we are saving money. There's also areas where we're losing it because we don't have the amount of students. We don't have the, the students on campus, the traction. With the budget deficit as well, that's something I think a lot of colleges are going to be thinking of. And, and is it worth for them to try to bring sports back in an unusually unsafe era? Some schools are like, no, we're just going to roll with it. No sports this year and play next year and see what happens. Along with guiding athletes through this process, Eliza has also helped athletes make decisions. Some harder than others. I've had breakdowns on, you know, and I, we can't be there physically to console somebody, but, you know, the breakdowns on Zoom of the realization of, listen, this might be it. Like, I've had my, my run. You know, I just had a conversation two days ago with a student athlete you know, over the weekend, and he's like, I'm done. You know, I, I can't try to get myself in the mindset of trying to do the things that I, I, I was doing before COVID with my team. I can't do that on my own. Some students are of the mindset, I can't wait any longer you know, this was supposed to be my year to get out of here and transfer. If COC decides to continue competition this spring, there will be daily screenings, health logs, and temperature checks. As for competition, there will be no playoffs and only conference games. For Canyons News, I'm Sarah Perez.